It's known by many names. You can call it Bigfoot, Yeti, Sasquatch, or the Himalayan Beast. Well, despite what you call it, or if you even believe in it, the legendary beast no doubt leaves a big footprint. This collection of Bigfoot castings belong to Kevin Lindley. Well, this used to be a major part of what I did, and I used to be a, an investigator with the BFRO living in western Washington. BFRO stands for Bigfoot Field Research Organization. But now Lindley spends most of his time as a pastor at a Magic Valley church. Lindley says he grew up in Washington, where many sightings were reported of the Bigfoot. He then later got involved with the BFRO. Several of the Bigfoot castings he did himself, others he's gotten from people across the country. Well, I've got about 18 casts, but a lot of these are eclectic. They're from all over the place, but the Pacific Northwest, mostly from Washington. Some are from California. And every one of them has a different story. And the baby was just running indiscriminately in the sand, leaving these beautiful little footprints. <laughs> Lindley thinks there's enough physical evidence to support the existence of the elusive beasts, but he says everyone is entitled to their views. You know, I'm not trying to, to gain converts. I'm more interested in the people who um, are, have seen these things, afraid to talk about it, and when there's actual physical evidence, footprints, dermal ridges like fingerprints on the feet, um, DNA from the hair and from the fecal remains, um, when there's... Um, the, everyone talks about the photographs, but that's what you're seeing. But what's really is the hard science of these animals. Even though Lin Lee doesn't do much investigating anymore, he still follows the footsteps of Bigfoot. Benito Aiza, News Radio 1310 KLIX.